<laughs> Ghost here, back with um, a follow-up to the October video on uh, quality control problems and problems with the ZPAP. We've got a big one here. This is fresh. Um, a cracked receiver. Uh, you guys were known for soft metal. I just did the review on mine, which is still alright. Um, this sort of crack receiver. This is the first I've seen of that. So, let's keep going. Crack receiver. We got a problem here now. Mag release is totally busted. These are on new rifles, mind you. Not worn out shot ones. That's why I kept the uh, original background here so you can see what where it's actually coming from. So, as you can see there. Now, that was sent back. Rust problems. This is another major old thing with the Yugoslavian Serbian rifles was that they would rust quickly and easily. This guy's was pretty damn new, um, and it rusted out that quick. Now, some of the some oil and stuff could take care of it. This shit, that's that's pretty weak finish right there. Um, let's move on here. We got a cracked stock, and this is one of those two hundred and something dollar premium sets, dark tart, tart maple, whatever they call it. Here we got another cracked gas block. This is pretty scary because this has been there's been a pretty high amount of these lately. Crap gas blocks. Now in here, I mean, I could let you just read for yourself, but um, you can see the problems do exist. And uh, you know, the server say, oh, just give us an email. And here again, you know, people going over the soft receivers, and I just showed you cracked on it. The was like, nah, you know, it'll never crack. It, it's all good and the same with the corrosion thing you know it's basically just not a, n nothing to worry about with them so um, here we just got a a bad trigger which is a stop of me good on um, again brand new bad trigger so that had to be replaced at least it was replaced with no problems Uh, next up, the crack stock. A lot of people have wobbly stocks. That'll crack it. It's not tightened down good at the factory. So, let's move on here. I mean, that is just a good example for you to see what happens with, <laughs> with warranty returns. And now here we got a brand new rifle with uh, more problems. Mag wobble, which is been guy gone over many times. People complain about mag fitment, mag wobble, and this guy his wouldn't pass a no go gauge, so the head spacing was incorrect. That's dangerous. So now I'm gonna have to recommend check head spacing on your ZPAPs. Or use the stavas when you get them, because that's that's a pretty it's a pretty bad problem right there. So there's the mag wobble. Again, they mill out the receivers at the stava USA. Now here's the crack more cracked gas blocks and people you know bringing it to light that it's becoming a problem. <laughs> Which again goes down back to the uh, the metal. If it's soft, or just the quality control is no good. Another replacement, cracked gas block. <laughs> So sadly, I I can't really tell you 
that I could recommend these anymore with these problems. Mine's been fine, but the newer ones, can't recommend them with all the foxes and barrels and everything else coming out right now. Anything negative about Sestava usually gets, you know, backlash, so whatever, ghost out.